In this video, I'm going to show you how to use SVG outlines with your stamps. I have a Cricut Explorer. There it is, right there. So this is what I used to cut out my SVG file, which means I used Design Space. Um, I know that there are lots of other machines and lots of other um, softwares that the machine use that the other machines use. So whatever your machine is, I'm sure that the process is the same. It's just not going to look the same. Okay, we are going to start with a very simple image. This is the Crafton Desert Divas So Long stamp. It's this super cute little giraffe. <laughs> He's so adorable. Anyways, so basically um, I went on to their website. I, this is the first stamp I actually purchased from them. Um, so I used it in a recent project and had to fussy cut my giraffe in order to complete my card because I messed up on my card and I did not like that. So I decided that I would give the SVG cutouts a try because I don't like to fussy cut. It's not my thing. Some people are like, oh, it's so relaxing. No, it's not. Not for me. So, okay. And this is actually really easy. Um... So over here on the left we have upload images, okay, let me try and focus on that a little bit more, there we go, okay, alright, so upload images, and then basically you want to upload your image so we can cut it, so we're going to upload image, browse, and this is why you need to know where it went, because you've got to choose where to pull your file from, so we're going into downloads, and I previously downloaded this and I have a nice little folder for all my um, SVG outlines so that I know where they are right away. So here's my so long. We're going to open it and ta-da! There it is. Pretty easy. We don't even need to do anything with it. Um, I'm just going to rename it. I like to do um, Just so that I know it's a Crafton Desert Diva SVG, so long. And then we're going to save that. Okay, so then we're going to upload that one into our new document. Or new project, I guess. Sorry. Okay. Okay, so now the next thing we have to do is to resize our image. So if you look at the SVG outline, right here you'll see where it says what size it should be. So we're going to make it 3.020 by 1.600. Okay, so now that we have our dimensions correct, when we cut this it should fit the stamp. Um, so this is actually I guess um, the third time that I'll be cutting an SVG and um, I find that I guess I like a little less white border than most. So what I do is I cut um, I cut it first onto some regular cardstock so that I can kind of size it out. Sometimes um, the size is just fine. Sometimes it needs to be a little smaller. Um, I don't think I've ever had to actually make it bigger though to mix to fit my um, to fit my stamp. So um, I'll be right back and we will cut this on some uh, regular cardstock and see how it fits. Alright, ready to cut it. So it did the star first, it's doing the sentiment now. And there goes the giraffe. Okay. So we have our three little pieces. Let's see how they fit. Okay, so I stamped the images on my cutout, and as you can see, there's quite a bit of white space around that giraffe, and that star is totally floating. Uh, the bend so long is okay, but I like I prefer it to be like tighter. So, what I want to do is gonna um, change my dimensions on the screen so that it'll cut smaller, and we'll restamp it. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to lock our um, ratio and just make it like two clicks smaller. 
and then um, we will see how that turns out. Okay, and now you can see that it fits a little bit better. Actually, quite a bit better. Because here's our first one. And there was, look at his feet. There's a ton of space on his feet. And now there's really not much. I think it looks a lot better. Um, looks like I kind of maybe stamped them a little bit to the right side. So, um... I'm pretty happy with my spacing, so I'm going to do one more cut with my actual watercolor paper that I use. Um, I will show you how to use the Mini Misty to make sure that I get the stamps centered on my cut, because I was like, first you cut it and then you stamp it. That's kind of, I can't handle that kind of alignment on my own. I can't get things straight for anything. Not more cut at this size because I'm pretty happy with it. Um, and then, although that star still has a lot of space, but really that star is probably something I would stamp right on the, um, right on my main surface and not want to cut out along with the word, although I really like the word. That looks really great like that. So, But anyways, I'm going to get a good cut on good paper. And then I'll show you how I make sure to stamp my images right in the middle of a pre-cut outline. Okay, so I decided that I wanted that um, star to be a little bit smaller. So what I'm going to do, um, because I like the sizing of the giraffe and I like the words, what I'm going to do is ungroup my SVGs, resize that um, star just down one little click, and then... Um, go from there. We'll, we'll try that. So basically I'm just going to choose this ungroup it. Oh, dang it. Normally I can ungroup it. This one I cannot ungroup. That's weird. Oh, okay. So I guess we'll duplicate it and then I'll slice it up um, to get just the star. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I have sliced um, a star out, like I duplicated this one, and I sliced the star out so I could resize it just a little bit. I know it's going to give me two stars, but um, I don't really care because it's just a little bitty spot, no big deal. So we're just going to resize this one just a little bit. Um, we have our ratio locked, so I'm just going to go, that's going to be quite a big one, so I think we'll do like a half a, so we'll do like 40. So we're going to save, or yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and save this because I'm happy with it. And I save them so that I don't have to worry about resizing them or anything next time I want to use it. And you can see that I use um, CDD for the um, type of stamp it is and then what it is. So. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to save that. Alright, so I'm going to go cut it on the good paper and I'll be back. Okay, so we have our cut out of the good watercolor paper right here. And now we're just going to, um, I, and you can see I threw away the big star because I don't need it around. I don't want to be confused on what is what. So now I'm going to stamp my images onto my cutouts using my negative cut as a guide so that I can make sure that everything is centered in perfect. So I start by putting this in here and I just use the corner so that because I know that it's going to move around on me because that's just how things happen. So I just put it right into the corner so that after I place the stamps, then I am able to realign the paper so that they still stamp great. So um, I'm going to put these little stamps in their spot and make sure that they're all nice and aligned. So pardon me for a moment. 
I'll make sure I get that little draft straight this time. I'm gonna make sure I put my star in the little star, not the big star. Make sure I get it pushed all the way up and all the way down to totally have space right there. That would have been very sad. So I think I'm happy with the alignment. Okay, so we're gonna attach those to the other side, lift them up, attach them again. I think I have fuzz on that one for some reason, I don't know how. Alright, so now we're going to put our cut pieces into the die of where they came from. Because now we have our stamps all lined up with our space. And so we're going to put our die cut in here, like so, so that we can ink up our side with our stamps, and then just flip and stamp. So I'll make sure that this is still in the right position. I just want to say that I love this Mini Mister. I love it. And I keep calling it a Mini Mister. I don't know why, because it's like easier to say than Mini Misty. I don't know. But... I like it because I always have a problem like making sure that I get a good stamp with stamps, especially since technically I'm kind of new to stamping, I guess. And so a lot of my stamps are still new, and a lot of my stamps, like I have a hard time getting brand new stamps to like stamp perfectly, like the first time. So this is really helpful to uh, make sure that I'm getting a good stamp with my stamps, because who wants to see? Partially stamped images. Nobody. That's who. So, okay. Let's see how we did. Yay! And it's like perfectly lined up. That's so great. I'm glad it worked out. So, I'm going to go ahead and do another one because I like my black to be black. Like, I don't want it to be gray. Like, when I'm wearing black eyeliner, I want my black eyeliner to be black. I don't want it to look all washed out and gray. So same goes with my black ink. When I'm using black ink, I want it to look black, not gray. So we'll just double it up because that's why you have a misty. So you can do things like that. Try not to mess it up on my second stamping. Okay, so one more stamping. And ta-da! Look how great that looks. I love this thing so much. It's so great. We've got nice, dark, crisp stamping right in the middle of our cut. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. I like it a lot. Okay, so I like this uh, template. So basically what I do is I'm going to take this and I'm going to place it in my stamp. Okay, so this belongs in this baggie. So I'm going to put this in here. So that the next time I need to do a giraffe, all I have to do is I can print just the giraffe. And then I can use this as my template to help position my stamp. <laughs> 